The spookiest math curve is the infamous Witch of Agnesi. Originally named by Maria Agnesi, the first woman appointed as a math professor, it was then later completely mistranslated to woman who is against God and then to witch. Now, we can construct it geometrically by starting with the circle of radius A, then taking a point on the circle and drawing the segment from the origin out to the point P. If you put a horizontal tangent at the top of the circle and extend our segment out until it intersects with that horizontal, finally drop it back down until it matches the height of the point P, this gives us a new point. And as we move around the circle, you sketch out a curve. This is the Witch of Agnesi. Analytically, this curve is given by 8a cubed divided by x squared plus 4a squared, where a is the radius of the circle. And I'm a particular fan of the special case where a is equal to 1 half. And in this case, it simplifies to just be 1 over x squared plus 1. Now, any good mathemagician can make pi appear. So let's integrate from 0 to 1. And the calculus students among you will recognize that this is the derivative of arctan, and so evaluating at 0 and 1 gives the value of pi over 4. But if instead we had looked at the inside and expanded using geometric series to give 1 minus x squared plus x fourth minus x to the sixth and so on, then integrate term by term, evaluate it at the 0 and the 1, and you get this series 1 minus 1 third plus a fifth minus 1 seventh and so forth. This is a series expansion for pi.